So for years and years, there's been talk about the eventual demise of Primeval World here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. And well, that fateful day has seemingly arrived, as you can see the end is indeed very near. But for today, I want to dive in and discuss what the ramifications of Primeval World's removal will have not just on Dino-Rama, but also Dino-Land as a whole. So let's dive into all of that, up next. Hi there Waltoners, I'm Jack and this is DS1 Newscast and this kind of video would be very easy if it was just a straightforward construction update or should I say demolition update on Primeval World. But instead what I want to do is I want to begin with a bit of context as to what led to the downfall of this attraction. As if you follow this channel for a few years, you'll know that whenever there's discussion of what's next for Disney's Animal Kingdom, inevitably the conversation somehow always turns towards the reoccurring topic of what could eventually replace Dinorama. And the reason for this stems back to the years immediately following the park's opening in 1998, as Animal Kingdom didn't have that many ride-through attractions, with only Kilimanjaro safaris, Tough to be a Bug, Kale River Rapids and Countdown to Extinction that was later renamed to Dinosaur, and so in an effort to increase the number of attractions, the idea was to have a small expansion to Dino Land USA that would importantly add two off-the-shelf rides that would be lightly themed and wouldn't require much expense. And henceforth, on March 31st, 2002, Chester and Hester's Dino-Rama officially opened, and with it came the basic flat ride of Triceratops Spin and the notorious spinning wild mouse coaster known as Primeval Whirl. But despite Imagineering leaning into the off-the-shelf carnival ride aesthetic by theming the area to be a pop-up roadside amusement park, throughout the years, Dino-Rama has continued to cause much bewilderment among guests with its intentionally cheap theming contrasting too much with what guests know as the Disney quality standard. And so because of this, Dinorama has always been high on many fans' lists for an eventual retheme or replacement. Although then from Disney's perspective, the writing was probably on the wall from day one for Dinorama, as the whole conceit behind this miniland was to act as a temporary quick fix, with the off-the-shelf attractions originally being leased out to Disney instead of being outright purchased to begin with. And over time, Primeval World has dodged the metaphorical meteorite numerous times. As first of all, this wild mouse spinning roller coaster was designed and manufactured by French company Revachon, who then entered into a manufacturing agreement with Zamperla in 2003. But that agreement was later dissolved in 2005, with Zamperla keeping the design and manufacturing rights to the spinning wild mouse design, which was later renamed to the Twister Coaster and this has left maintenance of Primeval World in a very difficult predicament, as through the combination of Revachon filing for bankruptcy in 2008 and Zamperla beginning to make alterations and changes to the original design, it has meant that replacement parts have become increasingly scarce for Primeval World's spinning wild mouse coaster. And as a result of this, to keep Primeval World operating throughout the past decade, Disney has had to custom manufacture specific parts for maintenance if replacements can't can't be found by cannibalizing defunct versions of the original coaster design in other parts of the world. Which then on June 17th 2019 is likely what caused the attraction to suddenly close for unplanned maintenance and remain closed for the following months that led to speculation about the fate of this ride. But then on October 29th, 2019, Disney confirmed that it would be switching to seasonal operation and it only reopened with the right hand side of the track within the typical busy holiday season of 2019 into 2020. Then it closed again with a plan to reopen in March of 2020 for spring break. Although obviously the pandemic closure on March 16th prevented that from happening. But on July 16th, 2020, mere days after Walt Disney World's reopening, Primeval World's luck had finally run out. As Disney released a statement announcing the official closure of Primeval World, Stitch's Great Escape and the nighttime show Rivers of Light. And for over a year, the attraction just sat there dormant, awaiting the end. Which then brings us to October 2021, as Primeval World is finally succumbing to its own extinction level event and becoming a true ride of extinction. As you can see that the demolition is in full swing with the right hand side of the track and the loading platform being completely decimated and removed within plain sight. 
almost as if Disney is allowing guests to say a cathartic goodbye to Primeval World after a long and drawn out demise over the past few years in Animal Kingdom. But now, standing here with the mangled, contorted remains of Primeval World behind me, let's discuss what this means for the future of Dinorama as a whole, and also what effect it could possibly have on Dino Land USA. As obviously the demolition and removal of Primeval World almost certainly seals the fate of Dinorama as a whole. As with the main attraction now gone, the Carnival Games and Triceratops Spin can only limp along for so long before Disney will eventually have to announce a better use for this two acre plot of land in such a prime location within Animal Kingdom. But what that could be is the million dollar question. As for years, there's been rumours and speculation of a Zootopia themed land possibly coming to Animal Kingdom. However, the main obstacle to this idea has always been the decree from lead Imagineer for Animal Kingdom, Joe Rohde, that there is a no pants rule for anthropomorphic animals within the park. However, Joe Rohde left Imagineering for Virgin Galactic at the beginning of 2021, which you'd think would clear the way for a clone of a Zootopia-themed miniland that Disney is currently constructing in Shanghai Disneyland. But therein lies another problem, as Shanghai's attraction projects tend to have an exclusivity clause built into them for around five years after its opening. Or at least that was the case with the Tron Light Cycle Power Run roller coaster and the Shanghai Pirates of the Caribbean programmable magnet boat ride technology. And so if an exclusivity clause exists for the Zootopia project, it would push back any arrival of this land at Animal Kingdom into the latter part of the decade. However, there are other viable IP alternatives that could be featured within Animal Kingdom, as the 2016 live action version of The Jungle Book has been heavily talked about for future representation in an e-ticket boat ride that would use the same magnetic boat ride system from Shanghai. And I wouldn't say it's out of the realm of possibility that Disney could retheme the area to Pixar's Up given its popularity and inclusion already within Animal Kingdom. And of course, a few years ago, it was also rumoured that Indiana Jones could have been part of the overhaul of Dino Land USA. But it now seems that the dinosaur attraction and the Dino Digs play area will remain intact, as supposedly it's been decided that Indiana Jones' future at Walt Disney World will stay within Disney's Hollywood Studios. But no matter what it is eventually themed to, according to reputable insiders on the WDW Magic forums, the pre-pandemic plan was for a major e-ticket attraction to be built on this location. However, now plans have been scaled back to something more akin to a substantial D-ticket attraction, which would put it more along the lines of something like Remy's Ratatouille Adventure at Epcot. But then in terms of a timeline, it's said that we should be expecting an official announcement in the near future, most likely at D23 Expo in September 2022. But of course, there is always the possibility that it could be announced as soon as the Destination D event that takes place in November 2021. But no matter when it is announced, construction is still expected to begin in fall of 2022. And so in conclusion, we won't have to wait too much longer to learn what this area will evolve into. But now, it's over to you, Walton, as I would like to know what are your thoughts and opinions about the demolition of Primeval World, and are you sad to see it go, and also, what would you like to see replace Dinorama in the future? And of course, as always, don't forget to put the timestamp where the hidden Mickey appeared somewhere in today's video, along with your suggestion or your comment. So therefore, that way you'll have a chance to win these official DSMI newscast pins celebrating 50 years of Walt Disney World. And congratulations to this Waltonier here for this suggestion from a previous video where we were talking all about the fate of Rock and Roller Coaster. And so that's it for today, so be sure to go and subscribe down below if you're new to the channel, hit that notification bell if you're already subscribed and would like to receive notifications as it's a great way to stay up to date with the channel. And also if you've enjoyed today's video then be sure to give this video a massive thumbs up as it really does help this channel out. And I've been Jack, you've been you, and I'll see you real soon.